this. Watch this. He wants you in the right place. And the right place is wherever you are. And God says, wherever you are, I can meet you where you are. Lord, have mercy. How do you know, Pastor Dawson? Because God found me right where I was. And when God showed up right where I was, ain't none of your business. Wherever I was at, it ain't none of your business. Ain't none of your business. Ain't none of your business. But when God found me wherever I was, guess what he brought with it? Grace. Lord, have mercy. Huh? So, huh? so God, huh? so wherever you are, God can meet you wherever you are, and God's grace can keep you wherever you are and keep you long enough that his grace won't leave you where you are. Uh, you ought to thank God I mean I got to get out of here you ought to thank God for his grace not leaving you where you and so since, since, since it's our job to witness we're going to get out of here to folk Watch this. God says, wherever you are, start right there. Well, how do I do it, Pastor Dawson? Open up your <laughs> Y'all hear what I just said. Open up your Mouth because closed mouth, boy. Some of y'all grew up just, huh? Grew up in a little part of the hood. Come on, talk back to me, huh? As a matter of fact, that's hood jargon and, and, and city nomenclature. Are you in here? Watch this here. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. And so, and so the only way God knows what you need, but God say, listen, I want you to open up your mouth and tell me what you need because I really want to know from you how much you really need me. Come on, talk back to me if you can. So if you really need me as much as you say you do, it should show up in your walk, show up in your talk, show up in your habits, show up in your deeds, show up by how you treat folk who stab you in the back. It should show up. Come on, help me here. That's why Pastor Dawson can stand before the mass and preach to 5,000 uh, the same way he can preach to a, a room full of five folk because something is on the inside that causes me to open up my mouth even when I want to be silent so the place people is you the place right where you are well, what's the last ingredient, Pastor Dawson? Yeah, Glad you asked. <laughs> you have people. Uh -huh. You have place. Uh -huh. But you can't do nothing without the power. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Man, can I just read this real quick for y'all? Uh, is it okay? Yes, sir. Watch this, y'all. But you will receive power. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? After, after what? After that, the Holy Ghost has come up on you. Lord, have mercy. Watch this here. No Holy Ghost, no power. Man, somebody should have just took a lap right there. Man, you know what? Y'all too sleepy. No Holy Ghost, no power. And the problem that all of us have is that we've been trying to do stuff on our own power. And God says, wait a minute, do you really know who I am? You can't do nothing without, come on, huh? Quit trying to do stuff on your own and stand on his word. Yes, sir. No Holy Ghost, no power. So you have the people, the place, and the power. Look at the text. No Holy Ghost, no power. After. The power allows you to do some stuff that you would not ordinarily do on your own. Huh? 
And so the purpose of the power, thank you, Sister Samuel, because everybody else in here sleep, is for you to be a witness. Lord, have mercy. It's for you to open up your mouth. Now watch this. If it was under your power, you'd just be quiet. But because it ain't your power, you got the I can't help it. Man. Are you in here? So when the Holy Spirit takes over, you can't help but, oh, but open up your mouth. But if it was just you, you want to be entertained. You need somebody with pom-poms up here telling you to give you a P-O-W-E-R. All I have to do is think about what the Lord has done. And something started moving that hadn't moved all week. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. I promise I'm out of here. Watch this, watch this. Look at the command, look at the command. You shall be my witnesses. Now, this is a reminder to the disciples that they are sent into the world not to make predictions about the future, not even to worry about the future. Why? Because time uh-huh. is in his hand. Yeah. <laughs> are you in here? So don't worry about it because it's in his hand. What? This and that. Uh-huh. In his hand. But look at seven. But to bear witness to Christ and to testify to what they had seen, what they had heard, and what they know. Well, I'm going to get out of here. So, what's the job that God has tasked us with, New Providence? To tell folk. (laughs) To report what we've seen. Uh To report what we've heard. And to report Uh what we know. That's my job. Anything outside of that don't work. So as a disciple of Christ, as a blood-bought, saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost-filled, righteous individual, my job is to tell folk that uh, I spent some time with the man. So much so, That I've seen his handiwork. Uh, So much so that I've heard what he's had to say. So, so much so that now I know him for myself. Can I get a witness in here? Can you say amen? Some folk have heard about him. Yeah, yeah. And some folk know him for themselves. Y'all don't hear me. Hang. I need about 12 folk. Yeah, in the place of power this morning, you can testify that you've moved from hearsay yeah, to no same. Can I get a witness in here? Can you say amen? I moved from hearing folk talk about him so much so that I know for myself and I wish I had about five or six more folk in the place of power who ain't too mean who ain't too stuck up who ain't too bougie but you can stand up and be a witness that can't nobody yeah can't nobody yeah can't nobody 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 do me like Jesus yeah 
can't nobody do me like the Lord. Look at your neighbor and say neighbor, say neighbor, say neighbor. Every day ain't been peaches and cream. Every day ain't been filled with sunshine. But every day is a day of thanksgiving. Yeah, every day I'm going to count my many blessings and I'm going to name them one by one just in case you forgot how to count. Let me give you my blessings. I got five of them. Blessing number one woke me up early this morning. Blessing number two woke me up early this morning. Blessing number three woke me up early this morning. Number four, yeah, Lord, woke me up early this morning. Y'all help me shout with a little 40 year old preacher. Grab your neighbor by the hand. Shake that neighbor's hand. Shake that neighbor's hand. Y'all ain't shaking. I said, shake that neighbor's hand. Say, neighbor. Say, neighbor. You said four, but I help you. Shout on number five. He woke me up. Woke me up. Woke me. Yeah. Ah, woke me up early this morning. Started me on my way. Yeah. 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 Didn't he do it? Didn't he do it? Running in my feet. Clapping in my hands. Joy in my heart. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Didn't he do it? Didn't he do it? He died. Didn't he die? But bright early Sunday morning, he got up. Got up, 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 got up. Got up, 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 got up.